Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all for this week tutorials. In this session, I have chosen the uh, subject name Complex Analysis uh, Probability and Statistical Methods, which is of fourth semester, and uh, the subject code is 18 Mat 41. So it is for uh, only for uh, 18 scheme. So here I am uh, discussing uh, the question paper pattern, and as you all uh, finished uh, third semester, as you felt that uh, third semester mathematics is very difficult and you will be having uh, the same phobia here. So don't be of such uh, phobia here. Here I am coming with how to score minimum 60 marks in this subject. I am coming with how to score minimum 60 marks. There is no question of uh, failures here. You can definitely score minimum 60 marks. You should study in the way whatever I am going to explain in this video. So now moving on to module 1 here. Module 1 is of uh, calculus of complex functions. I will highlight uh, the important uh, topics which you want to study in this uh, module. So the module contains uh, complex analysis. So you are required to study there will be an uh, two derivation which I have already uploaded uh, in the previous video. You can go through that. That is uh, CR equation, Cauchy Riemann equation in Cartesian form and polar form. So, definitely one problem will be of uh, CR equation derivation. One problem will be of CR equation derivation. So, that carries minimum 7 marks, minimum 6 to 7 marks. There will be an one uh, problem you can uh, score there. So, go with uh, second one. So, by using the Milnes Thompson method, you require to find the analytical function. So, that is what finding uh, f dash of z you can have the problem or they will provide u or v you require to find out uh, the analytic function f of z. Finally, they can provide u plus v plus or minus v function then you require to find out uh, the function called analytical function f of z. So, definitely out of these uh, three types there will be one problem. So, you can score minimum of 7 marks minimum of 7 marks. Yeah. In some times they will ask uh, these three types in uh, one, one uh, question itself. So, they, then you can have an option uh, scoring uh, 20 out of 20 in this module. So, therefore, you can have minimum in this module you can have a minimum weightage of uh, scoring 14 marks. So, there is an option uh, uh, to score uh, uh, another 6 marks or uh, yeah, 7 marks. So, by studying harmonic uh, conjugate, harmonic conjugate. So, there also one uh, derivation is there, you can have that uh, derivation or problems on harmonic conjugate. So, then you can have 20 out of 20 here. So, I am not forcing you people. So, you can just concentrate on CR equation and uh, so by using CR equation, by applying Milnes Thompson method. So, you can find analytical function for that function, such problems you can st study there. There I am not going to force you people, you can study uh, only CR equation that is polar form or Cartesian form and also by Milnes Thompson method finding analytical function. If you study these two, definitely you can score maximum of uh, 14. 13 to 14 marks. So, moving on to module 2, module 2 is of uh, conformal transformation uh, and uh, complex uh, integration. So, in this module you can score definitely if you study these three discussion conformal uh, transformation definitely uh, conformal transformation one problem will be there of, uh, of 7 marks compulsory 7 marks will be there from conformal transformation. If you study these three conformal transformation definitely one problem will be there in either of uh, these two choice. So, you can have 7 marks there. If you study, uh, secondly, if you study uh, BLT, there is a chance of asking in one question itself BLT or it will come in option BLT. So, why can't you take a risk here? If you study BLT, you can score here 7 marks also here. You can score 7 marks. And uh, uh, the question number 3, you can have an option uh, that uh, studying uh, Cauchy, Cauchy theorem. You can uh, study Cauchy theorem or complex line integral, problems on uh, line integral, problems on line integral. If you study these two topics, so definitely here also you can uh, score uh, 6 marks. 
definitely you can score 20 out of 20 but if you don't require this i can't uh, uh, give this uh, explanation to only for uh, weak learners i should also concentrate on uh, the scoring people that's why i'm uh, giving the hint to how to select the problems to for your uh, final semester end exam easily you can score uh, 20 out of 20 or else i will tell you if you study only uh, conformal transformation and blt definitely minimum you can score 7 marks minimum 7 marks actually you can score if you get these two problems in one problem itself you can score 14 marks also so moving on to module 3 uh, probability distribution it is of uh, probability distribution there in probability distribution you are going to have two types of distribution one is uh, continuous uh, distribution and uh, another is uh, discrete uh, distribution uh, discrete and continuous distribution so when i consider discrete uh, distribution in uh, discrete distribution you are going to have the distribution of the form binomial 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 distribution and poisons distribution and poison distribution when you come to continuous uh, distribution continuous distribution is of uh, two forms that is uh, two distribution one is exponential exponential and uh, normal normal distribution so how to select a problems uh, to score uh, 20 out of 20 or minimum of uh, uh, 13 to 14 marks yeah, one problem uh, will be of uh, definitely uh, called uh, one problem will be definitely on probability density function that is called as pdf one problem will be compulsory of probability density function which carries maximum seven marks so you can study on uh, that so for example you can uh, here have uh, to find uh, the value of k that is one example or or they can give an uh, function a continuous uh, continuous discrete uh, distribution also they can give called uh, f of x is equal to which is equal to continuous function for example here uh, x1 and uh, here x2 function so using this you should prove that it is an probability density function pdf okay so there is an option from uh, these two so this is uh, one problem you can study then if I move on to second question, definitely you can concentrate on normal distribution, normal distribution, normal distribution. Uh, here also you can score minimum of uh, 7 marks. If you study one problem will be there on binomial, binomial or uh, uh, poisons. So one problem will be there. So this is the option you are going to have uh, uh, to choose uh, a problem in, uh, in a manner to score 20 out of 20 here binomial or poison will be there binomial or poison if you uh, study all the problems you can score uh, definitely uh, 20 out of 20 but if you are not in, uh, interested in uh, scoring uh, 20 out of 20 you can uh, get a minimum of uh, 14 marks minimum of 14 marks is considering a pdf problem and a normal probability problem normal probability problem definitely you can score 14 marks next moving on to curve fitting here in this module i insist you not to leave any of the topic not to leave any of the topic you are going to have curve fitting and uh, statistical method so in curve fitting uh, you are going to fit a curve of two forms one is straight line and another one is second degree parabola so first two are uh, straight line and uh, next one is second degree parabola definitely one problem will be on uh, curve fitting definitely one problem will be on curve fitting that is seven marks either it may be a uh, straight line or second degree parabola including uh, the choice i am discussing uh, moving on to second uh, question so definitely one problem uh, will be from uh, correlation uh, coefficient correlation coefficient find the correlation coefficient will be there so the problem number three will be of uh, from uh, line uh, lines of regression from uh, lines of regression lines of regression so so with this uh, what will be the option means what will be the another option means again you are going to have uh, 
curve fitting curve fitting then you are going to have an uh, derivation one uh, derivation is there that is tan inverse theta or derivation or uh, angle between angle between two lines of regression two lines of regression So this is uh, one problem. So if I move on to question number three, question number three, again they can ask uh, correlation coefficient. Problems on correlation coefficient. By giving set of data, by giving set of data, you are required to find out correlation coefficient. So this is the way of asking the problem. So distribution will be seven six seven seven six seven or six seven seven. So totally it will be of uh, twenty marks. Totally, it will be of 20 marks. Don't leave any topics here. And uh, if you have uh, uh, braveness, you can have, you can uh, leave uh, either a straight line or a second degree parabola without leaving any topic from statistical method. Okay. So this is my sincere request to you: not to leave any topics from uh, statistical method. Then you can have an option to leave. Uh, one problem of uh, curve fitting called either straight line or second degree parabola. Then you can get either of the one of the cho choice to solve all the problems to score 20 out of 20 marks. So moving on to module 5, module 5 that is last topic which is a very easiest uh, topic. I will prefer you people to solve this module as an first question in your answer script. So here you are going to have two topics one is joint probability distribution joint probability distribution and sampling theory so in sampling theory already i have explained you the topic i have already released a video on sampling theory you can go refer that video to get out of out from this module so again when i come to the option here joint probability distribution problem will be a compulsory question if I go with the second question, uh, student t distribution, you can consider student t distribution, student t distribution and uh, next question you can have chi square distribution, chi square distribution. So if I move on to option, you can have definitely uh, first problem will be of uh, definition, here definition is very important, definition will be there, second question you can have testing of hypothesis testing of hypothesis testing of hypothesis testing of hypothesis will be there for 1% or 5% hypothesis then moving on to the last question again it will be of chi square on binomial distribution binomial distribution or by using poison distribution you should reduce uh, the problem uh, uh, to uh, from uh, binomial binomial distribution you should reduce to uh, chi square distribution to get the expected value and observed value so this is the way of uh, asking the problem in uh, module 5 so now you can score out of out uh, from this uh, module called uh, 20 out of uh, 20 marks now if i recall uh, the marks distribution module wise in module 1 minimum uh, weightage uh, I can consider that as uh, 14 marks in module 2 I will consider only 7 marks itself or you can also score 14 uh, marks there in uh, module 3 I am considering only 13 marks in module 4 I am considering uh, 20 marks in module 5 I am considering 20 marks so now if I calculate this 20 plus 20 40 40 plus 13 53 53 plus 7 is 60 from uh, four modules only you are getting 60 marks if i consider module 1 you are going to score 74 marks you can score 70 you can score 74 marks so you definitely as i start with uh, minimum of 60 marks now i am getting uh, 74 marks here so this is only possible if you study in the way whatever I have explained you in this video. So 
do concentrate on this and uh, i think you all uh, like this video if you all like this video kindly do subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video with your friends finally i thank you all to seeing this video and uh, for analyzing how to score the marks in this semester thank you all